So I just got done doing an audition for Burn the Money music video, or short film, whatever. It's going to be 20 minutes long. It's going to be rocking. Ah! Goodwill. Got to decide to go in, uh, check out things out, because you always go to Goodwill. You always have good things there. Yeah, you don't usually have the money to spend for it, though, so, well, I have money. I just shouldn't spend it. Uh, I'm currently unemployed. Uh, this is my first day uh, of unemployment, and I spent it thus far uh, fucking around on the computer and uh, driving here to Madison for about 30 minutes worth of stuff. Now I gotta drive back. Well, after I go to Goodwill, so that's gonna be fun. But I feel good. Um, I'm hoping, and I don't, and I don't think it's gonna happen. But I'm hoping things like this will become the norm with me. Uh, I don't think it will be because I'm highly negative and no things things will work out. But that's only because I don't put in the work and the effort to make them work out. And I can make it work. I can now, at least. I'm gonna be sleeping better. Don't have the fog of dread of dealing with, uh, with folk and that just just really folk I don't like enjoy working with. But things are gonna be better, gonna work out, and yeah. That's the hope. I'm pretty sure in like a month or two, I guarantee you have to get a job in the Madison area, because I'm moving to Madison! Whoa! So yeah, that's me. One year ago, April 22nd. Um, not much has changed, and a lot has changed. I have gained 30 pounds. Um, had to regrow the beard, and and I... Uh, had a very kept beard at the time, and probably most importantly, I could like still lie to myself about certain things just to make myself feel better. You know what I mean? So since that time, I did indeed uh, move to Madison, uh, and I did uh, take part in Burn the Money. Uh, by the time this video is out, Burn the Money should be out already, tax day and all. I didn't get in because of my audition. I think I got in just because of being extra and all that, and that's well and good. I mean, we were all there just trying to make a movie and have some fun. That it's going to be good or not, that it's successful um, to be seen. Jacob of the future will know. This is Jacob of the past. <clears throat> On Burn the Money itself, um, I've burned a lot of it uh, since this move to Madison. And, um... Still a poor bastard, still a skillless bastard, still a socially awkward misfit. But I guess focus on the positive and all that, right? Because uh, it's certainly better than the negative. It's not going to be easy because I can't lie to myself anymore. The good. Um, since coming to Madison, I've had some theater work. Real theater work. Minimal theater work. There's a negative bit. Uh, people kind of tend to boost me up saying, Oh, you were so good, Jacob, and so awesome. No, I really can't lay claim to any decency with my theater stuff. There wasn't that much of it to be had. Um, I've actually really only been to an audition uh, just a few days ago, and that was an audition I didn't even know about. I was just there because I was walking about and like, oh, there's an audition happening right now? For something going over at Broom Street? I'm not doing anything. No, oh, okay. And I could tell I did pretty damn crappy. Well, we'll see what future Jacob has to say about that. <laughs> maybe I'll be taken, maybe I won't. I don't believe I will. And future will say, yeah, but theater work hasn't really happened, and uh, would like to get into it, do some other things too, especially some things with Project Famous, which really nothing has been done. Um, that's mostly a thing that's got to be on me, I know that, but uh, not a lot of things have been going on with Project Famous, and I came to Madison because of Project Famous, and it has to be a lot on me. I do have to, had to take the initiative, and... That was a big, huge fumble on my part. Uh, but then again, you can't really control a depression now, can you? No excuses, I know, but excuses. But things did happen with the Project Famous stuff. Uh, yes, positive, some things did happen. And they're good and decent. I got in with the crowd, and from here on forth, it seemed to still be kind of open to me to do some things if I actually do them. So, huzzah for that. It's what keeps me going. Gives me reasons not to kill myself when I'm really just looking for reasons to do just that. Just saying, I can't lie about it. Uh, no bullshit. Positive, positive, positive. Oh, oh yes, skirts are amazing. Skirts, they're amazing. Mind you, that's a kilt, but a kilt is a skirt, so fuck you. But uh, back in fall, I basically just let my suit go a little. I had a pink skirt already, pink dress, but I had a pink skirt already, 
Um, and I liked it, and I thought, hey, I'm going to try just skirts. Her 40 days, 40 nights, my let challenge, which I pretty much dropped off since that time. I never wrote about it. I'll get to it eventually. Probably be posted sometime after this video. Future Jacob. But I discovered that they are awesome. They're much more free, and it's great to have the wind blow through your legs. A little difficult while riding a bike, but it's great. And, um... That's pretty much it. When I say really nothing's happened, really nothing's happened. I've really not grown as a person. Um, new people to hang around with, but I constantly feel as if these people I've supposedly getting and growing with um, could leave in an instant. And that's really the kicker of it all, when the relations you feel you've built over the course of a year uh, feel like they could be pushed away with just a strong breeze. I'm just constantly waiting for the uh, house of cards to just collapse. But again, the positive, and there's really not much positive to say. It's been a year of not much happening. This is it. Let's see what happens next year.